Treehouse Childhood Cancer Initiative is an effort to identify new treatment options for children with difficult to treat cancers. I think UC Santa Cruz is really the only place where we could have Treehouse because our strength is big data and big data bioinformatics. And so we search for patterns that make this particular child's tumor similar to another tumor that already has a treatment option. So we're not discovering new drugs, but we are what's called repositioning an existing drug from another cancer patient to this child. Usually for difficult cases, there is a group of physicians that get together to discuss the case and decide on the best course of treatment. And so the unique thing now is that we are invited to these tumor boards to provide our view on the case, so to provide our analysis and our view from the genomic side that could be used by the clinicians and could be further discussed in these tumor boards. And that's a pretty unique thing. We're very, very excited and honored to actually be invited. When I came here uh, to UC Santa Cruz, I found out that there was a staff member at the time, Katrina Learned, who was working for the Genome Browser Group and Katrina's daughter, Aurora, just completed uh, treatment for a childhood cancer called neuroblastoma. When she was first diagnosed with cancer, something that we were um, waiting to hear with like bated breath was whether she had intermediate risk neuroblastoma or high risk neuroblastoma. It was a huge thing to figure out and to find out. And when we found out that she had intermediate risk and that she was gonna be okay, that if, if we went through everything, she was gonna be okay. Um, I just knew that if I had gotten the other news that she had had high risk and that she had maybe 60 to 75 percent, actually 60 to 65 percent survival rate after five years, um, it would have been devastating. My dream at that moment was that every person whose, whose child gets diagnosed with cancer would be to have that hope and that expectation that there will be a cure and their child will be cured. We started with no funding. We were really a group of volunteers and then we gradually got support from local advocacy groups, including some gift money from Unravel Pediatric Cancer and others. Then we got a grant from Alex's Laminate Stand Foundation. We won the California Initiative to Advance Precision Medicine, which is an initiative by Governor Brown. We're very honored to get selected as one of the demonstration projects. And then that really paved the way for us to win the $2.5 million grant from St. Baldrick's Foundation. And that is one of the largest grants that they actually have, and we're really, really honored to receive that at UC Santa Cruz. After we got the St. Baldrick's grant, we decided we wanted to give back. So Treehouse decided to do our own head shaving event in honor of St. Baldrick's. And when I heard about the event, I knew I wanted to participate. So I set a goal for myself of raising $10,000 to shave my head, and I surpassed my goal and ended up raising $14,000 for St. Baldrick's. And our whole team, um, everybody combined, raised over $28,000. I think it is pretty unique uh, that we don't have a medical center here on campus and yet we can provide insight that could be used by clinicians to help patients. And I think it is actually an advantage in, in the type of work that we do because what we're doing is we're doing analysis and providing information that we learn from these comparisons to the clinicians that can make a treatment decision. I'm so excited about what this group is doing. I'm just so optimistic that this group is going to make a huge difference in the space of pediatric cancer. I just know it.